Hello, N4 H&H &H here. Uh, this is kind of an addendum to my uh, transmit audio video. Those of you who watched that, you know, saw where I went through what my menu settings are. And um, I wanted to show here, I just worked this, uh, this lady, Susan, in um, Poland. And she's got quite a pileup going on here. Um, and in order for me to break through the pileup, I had to, um, I had to put the uh, KPA 1500 up at about 1250 watts. Um, I had her best on my Fritzl FD4 off center fed antenna uh, versus the other four antennas and, uh, I mean the other three, uh, even better than my uh, 160 meter doublet, which usually does better into Europe. Uh, but also to, to break the pile up, if you recall from my transmit audio video, uh, let me move over here a minute. So you guys know, look at the display here. Okay, so no EQ, EQ, EQ plus processor. So remember, I've got my settings for my processor set to add just a, a smidge more highs. We say a smidge over here in, the, <laughs> in Georgia. Uh, let me back up a second and I'll show you um, in the menu uh, where I'm talking about. So anywhere you see EQ, that's just plain audio. PEQ is with the processor. So 900 hertz, I boost at three with the processor and a, and a boost um, 2400 hertz at 10, which is maximum um, for the highs. Whereas normally I'll have uh, EQ3 at level nine, okay, the 2400 hertz, and then I'll have uh, EQ2 900 hertz at one. So just a slight boost in the mid range and the highs. And basically what I do is I'm normally operating with the radio uh, menu 104 is normally set to um, boom, a bandwidth of 100 to 2900. So what I'll do when I need to break a pile up is I will go into menu 104. So I, what I do is I keep menu 104 the, as the one that I'm always on when I tap this. And then I'll just come over here and rock it up to sometimes two or 300 works, but uh, two to 200. Uh, to uh, 2800 but sometimes I'll go to 300 2700 to narrow even more and in her case I had to do that and of course in order to kick in the uh, accentuated 900 Hertz and 2400 Hertz I go from my normal rag chew uh, setting here with just plain EQ to processor EQ and then um, that's it and when I'm done and I want to go back to rag chew just back to the uh, one light here. Always check that because the 5000 sounds terrible without some EQ. Um, and then I'll, I'll go back over here and move this back down to 100 to 2900 and escape out. And of course, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't change it permanently, if all you did was leave it right here and just roll it up, you can actually, what's this? It's, it's on 27, 300 to 2700. I'm just going to hit the menu button. I didn't long press it. Now watch what happens when I get back in. See, it's at my normal setting. So you can roll it up there, work your DX, and instead of having to move it back down and then long press the menu button, you can just tap it because it, I didn't store. If I didn't long press, I didn't store that change. Okay, uh, just a little bit of an addendum to the transmit audio video there, and it, it helped me break through the pileup. I tried it a few times um, with just my regular rag chew setting and that wasn't cutting it. I mean, this girl had a massive pilot. Okay. 73 for now. Hope, I hope that was helpful to you. This is N4 H and H.